Does anyone know what that is? I was told that it grows in your yard when you have good mulch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I have these little things popping up in my yard, and they smell to high heaven. But hey, I've got good mulch, so that's all that matters. Hey guys, my house is getting painted. They are coming tomorrow to start pressure washing. I texted them on Friday to ask when they would be here. And when they wrote back Monday, I was like, huh, what, what, I'm not ready. I have a lot of little knicky knacks, crap basically, that I have up against my house, like a little shelf. It's not a shelf, but it's just a little shelf. A little, I'll show you. See the little white shelf? that uh, I had out front and it had a big star on it. That little birdhouse. And these things keep falling over. I think the squirrels keep jumping on them. See that big star? I got it at an art sale. And I had um, Christmas lights on it. So I just have a lot of little things like that up against the house. And he said he would move everything. But y'all, this is too much. I'm gonna have to burn, move my hummingbird feeder. Not, I mean, I think it will be fine where it is. No, I don't think it'll be fine where it is. I'm taking that back because let me show you where it is. So I'm running around out here trying to get as much pulled away from the house as I can. So here's the hummingbird feeder. Here's the house. I don't want them to spray my beautiful hummingbird feeder with white paint or black paint or whatever paint. The house, the brick is being painted white and all the trim is be, being painted black. So this is a pallet wall. A friend of mine built it for me. He worked at a company that had these big pallets come in. These are one piece long pallets. I think a tree limb just fell. <laughs> So he just, he built the little foundation and he, then he nailed those on there. And I had these boxes where I had herbs growing in the boxes, but as things go, oh, it came off. You know what? We'll just do it like this. I'll just, okay. It's really stuck. It's really stuck. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Oh, 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 spider web, spider web, spider web. Do I have a spider on me? Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, I think my earring got me. But there was a spider web touching my arm and I heard something flutter by my, win my window, my window, the window to my brain, the ear hole. I'm using y'all as my mirror. Oh, Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Where's the, where'd the spider web go? It was on my arm. When I looked down, it was on my arm. I don't know where the spider is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get my nails done in a few. So I'm trying to hurry because it's about to rain. The sky is just black and heavy. Oh, God, help me. That scared me. Um, shirt of the day. But I think, oh, I think I love fall most of all. Oh, I keep seeing spiders. Am I? I'm freaking out. All right, well, that's enough for this video. I'm going in. This is why I don't like being outside because I feel like I got a spider on me. Forgot to show y'all this. I got this big wash tub at an antique store. I filled it with water. I wanna make sure it doesn't leak. And I have ordered some pond plants. <laughs> There's that word again, from Amazon. And I am going to put the horsetail in a pond basket and put it in here and I put that pot in there right there just in case something falls in so if they can swim to that they can get back out just just in case but I was told if you fill it with you know your garden hose to let it sit for a couple of days and that the chlorine would evaporate basically I'm just gonna let it sit and make sure it doesn't have holes and then the plants should be here in a couple of days and I'll add them if the water's still good. If not, I'll fill it, you know, I'll empty it and fill it back up. But then I'll go get my goldfish. So I'm excited to see how it goes. So yay. This is going to be an all day video. I'm sitting in my driveway. So don't yell at me because I'm driving and looking at y'all. 
Also, just on a side note, my neighbor's dog escaped this morning. So when I came out to walk my dogs, her dog was running around. So I took my dogs back in because she is a big 100 pound goofy chocolate lab. And if she came near Penny and jumped at her, it would be on because Penny is a fearful dog and she would resort to fighting. So anyway, I run back in, I get one of the big treats that I buy for her and I come back outside and by that time the owner had gotten in the car to come down to try to see if she would jump in the car well she saw me and she came flying up the driveway and I was like please don't jump on me I got on my new shirt please don't jump on me I don't want to fall down so she did jump on me but she jumped on my arm can y'all see that <laughs> she got me I think she got me in a couple of places but that one yeah that one's the worst so anyway you know that saying no good deed goes unpunished I did my good deed and I got punished. I'm just kidding. We should always try to do good deeds whether we get punished or not. But that is funny. When you try to do something good, it usually does end up uh, turning around and biting you somehow. So it kind of makes you uh, realize why people don't want to do good deeds. But anyway. Do you think that you need more treats? Huh? Do you see the light in the window from the flash? It's okay. What do you want? Because I'm pretty sure I just walked in here and gave you some treats. And you already ate them. You can't just get another handful because it's been five minutes. What? Honey. There's still... Oh, there's none in your bowl. Okay. I mean, so you ate all the last ones and now you want some more? Okay. Where's your thing? Where's your, where's your thingy thing? The dryer's going. Somebody's gonna be mad because the dryer's going. Is this what you want? Oh, you want it in your bowl? Is that what you want? Oh, you want it in your bowl? There you go. You're not getting any more. I'm home from getting my nails did. I like them. They're a little bit different. I cut them all off because I kept breaking them. So we're just kind of having to start from scratch, but I like them. All right, so there's one dog sleeping. There is one dog sleeping. And there is one cat. It's raining. Hi. So, <laughs> it stopped raining. Now it's back sunny and humid as all get out. But I'm still trying to get everything in or put somewhere. There's my tree. I took all the decorations off of it. Like in the spring, I put birds. For the fourth, I put flags. I keep it decorated. I'm dropping. This bucket had bricks in it. So I was just taking the bricks and throwing them down in the, in the yard there so that I can bring the tree in. This is what I'm talking about. I, this is all the stuff. Finally getting it all. Hit myself in the head. Ah! Getting it all in. And I'm putting it all in my office. But I'm trying to decide what to do with my fern because it's doing so well outside that I hate to bring it in. I mean, I will bring it in when it's cold, but it has started doing so good outside. For right now, it's going to go right there until I decide what to do with it. And I got another fern to bring in. Hold on. My butterfly bush. That's why they call it a butterfly bush. There was others. Where'd they go? Oh. It's almost the end of their season. And I'm gonna miss them too. In the summer, they're usually just covered with butterflies, but it's getting kind of late. Okay, this is a musky dime. Some people call them scupper nogs, or they might not be the same thing, I don't know. But if you look real close, there's the fruits and their yummy deliciousness. They're kind of like grapes, but they're sweeter. And you have to wait. These turn purple, so you have to wait until they're purple. And then you give them a little squeeze and see, uh-oh, that one fell. See if they're soft, and then you gently pull to see if it'll come off of the um, vine, because if it's not ripe, it won't turn loose easily. I love, come on, Gracie, I mean, Penny, whatever your name is. Like my grandmother going through all the names till I get to the right one. 
He doesn't have a lot of fruit for as big as it is. Not that I can see anyway. There's some, they're still green. Anyway, they are delicious. I don't know, you, you bite them, the skin is tough. So you bite it and then you get the fruit out of the center and spit out the, the skin because it's tough. And then you have to kind of separate the seeds, kind of like a sunflower seed where you have to bite into it and separate the seed. But you spit these seeds out and then you eat the fruit. So they are a lot of work, but look at all of them. I mean that big thing. And they are delicious. I think it's gonna rain again. We are to that time of year where I have changed clothes 14 times today. I got up this morning, look at that. That's a uh, swamp hibiscus. It's in my neighbor's yard. My, I have one, but mine's much smaller. I just planted it this year. Anyway, it's that time of year. So I had on my pajamas, of course, when I got up. After I took my bath, I put on leggings. And then I was like, well, it's a little too hot for leggings. And I was going to get my nails done. So I put on capri length jeans. And then when I got home, I was cold. So I took off the capris and I put on, not sweatpants, but like, I guess yoga pants is what you'd call them. I didn't want to put back on the leggings I had on this morning because they don't have a pocket for my phone. Not like my phone has been in my pocket because I've been making a video all day. But anyway, um, so I put on a pair of shorts because it's hot again. It's in the 80s, but it's just so humid that it you can't hardly breathe. So yeah, the temperature is constantly changing. I'm under my neighbor's porch in case y'all are wondering. That's what we're out doing. But I just wanted to finish off the video. This has been a whole day of just little bitty clips, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I will see y'all on the next Tracy Tries. Remember, <laughs> I love you and Jesus loves you. Goodbye.